This tutorial is on Pages, Adding, Editing, Importing, and Deleting. And you can come over to ThemeJackBiz, over to the Flyout window, and down to Pages here, or down the left side black bar, and click on Pages. These are all the pages that are currently in the site and we'll start off with adding a new page. If you want to have access to all of the modules and columns you need to use Jack Page Builder and if you know the name of your page it's a good idea to name it now otherwise it assigns itself a name and a default page comes with the fixed section header top menu and footer as well as a regular section. And you can come down to the bottom here and add a section. So that is, adds another section and you can move it to wherever you want it. You can add a fixed section which is this. So if you accidentally deleted a fixed section you can come and add header, footer, or top menu and you can add a sidebar section and here are the layouts of the sidebar sections okay and you can add text or images or video here and add your sidebars here you can grab the sidebar and move it to where you want it to live you can also add a full section and grab it and move it to where you want it to live. Okay, now we'll start adding modules. So the full section is the full width of the screen. So these are the modules that you can add. Big menu, gallery image, map, review, slider jack, and video slider jack. So we'll add slider jack and this is you name it and you go down through here and edit all the details okay and then come and add a slide right now it's just the framework and you need to add the information for it and if you want the little flyout windows that go over the top of the image you can put your your information here add buttons there is a tutorial showing how to set up the slider jack and we'll click on upload an image okay so this is a large image and we'll set that as the background you can add all your other information again there is a tutorial showing how to set up slider jack so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on that okay and right now we're just going to add the one image and we'll save and save okay and this is the regular section so I can go and set columns and add let's do let's add text got a little bit of text here so I'm just going to paste it into the text box and you can edit all of the details in here there is a tutorial showing you how to set up the text and these are all tools to use for editing your text and I'm going to leave this as is and save add a module and we can add contact form and we can create a new form if we have want a special form for this particular page or click on use general form and select the form that we've already got set up so we'll do that and click save okay another thing I can do on this page is I can import a section and we click on import section now you have to have saved a section from somewhere else in order to find them here so we'll click on this is something I saved and here is the section I saved and I think I'll move this up and I'm going to delete these two because I'm not going to add anything to them now if you have them on your page and you don't add anything nothing shows up so not to worry if you don't do anything but it's 
might as well delete things that you're not using. So we've got header, top menu, we've got a full section, we have a standard section, we have a sidebar section, and this sidebar section also happens to be an imported section. So now we're going to go ahead and publish and preview changes. So this is the full width section, full section. This is the standard section. It would stand out more if I were to change the background color. And this is my imported section. Oh right, <laughs> I added menu to the bottom so here we have the menu and if you want to do that you can certainly do that okay actually if you decide hey you really like this page um, you would like to keep this to use it on other sites you come down to the bottom right here and click on export page make sure you name it something that you will know what it is when you see it again. So export page, page is exported successfully. So now if I go and add a new page, all right, let's just do that. First of all, we're going to update this page and then we'll go and add new page and use Jack Page Builder and then come down to the bottom and import page. There we go. There's the page that I just exported. Now, here it reads, do you want to replace the header, footer, and top menu of import page with the site default header, footer, and top menu? So, if you want it to integrate, then you would want it to replace the header, footer, and top menu with whatever is currently on your site. So, yes, publish, preview changes. So, this is the page that I just imported and I'm going to go back to all pages so this is the one that has no title okay and here is the original page and it has a title okay new page test now go back to pages so we have done add new we've edited or customized the page we imported a page from another location and we let's import a module so we've added a section we are now going to add a module and if you look up the top you can select from the main modules that are here or come and click on custom modules and select one of the modules that you have saved from another site or another section of the current site okay and then we'll go and update preview changes so this is the module that I saved from another page or I imported it into the row that I added so now the last thing is move to trash <laughs> if you don't like the page that you've just created something that I do is just in case I will export a page so that I have it should I need bits and pieces of it so you can export the page so export the page all set and then come back up and you can click here to move to trash or go to all pages so if you've got a whole bunch of pages that you want to delete new page test so I've got two pages to remove and you select them and go to either top or bottom click on bulk actions move to trash and apply okay and now you come up and you see there are two in the trash and if you are certain that you don't need them or you've got them exported so you know you can restore them if you want them and you are ready to release the site go to trash and select 
whatever's in trash, bulk actions, delete permanently and apply. Because as long as they are in trash, they are still connected to your site. It's a good idea to delete any information that you don't need or want. And that wraps up this tutorial.